Hi, third grade. We are back with our paired selection, Next Stop America. We are going to focus on two sections of this text and ask and answer some questions while finding some text evidence to support our answers. For this lesson, you're going to need your Reader's Writer's Companion book and a pencil. We are going to be completing pages 156 and 157 together. If you need to take a second to grab that book and open up to those pages, pause the video and start again when you're ready. Remember, if you need more time throughout the video to underline or write things down, you can always pause and press play when you're ready. All right, are you ready for our first question? It says, in paragraph one, circle how many people came to Ellis Island every day. So our Reader's Writer's Companion book did us a favor by numbering all of the paragraphs for us already. Puts us off to a good start. So this question, we are focusing on this paragraph here, and it wants us to circle how many people came to Ellis Island. So as I reread this paragraph, make sure you're looking out for that information. Immigrants crossed the ocean on crowded ships. When the ships arrived in New York Harbor, Smaller boats took them to Ellis Island. There, the travelers hoped to become American citizens. Thousands of people came every day. Oh, I think that's our answer. It's the last sentence in this paragraph. It says thousands, which is a quantity. So it says thousands of people came every day. Make sure that you are circling that entire sentence. Next, it says, reread paragraphs two through four. That's not just two and four, it's two through four. That's what that little dash means. So we're gonna reread two, three, and four. It says, write numbers next to the sentences that describe what the immigrants had to do at Ellis Island. So they want us to number all of the things that they had to do when they arrived. First, everyone had to have a checkup. So it tells us right off the bat what they had to do, and it uses the sequence word first to even tell us that it's happening first. So one, let's label that one. First, everyone had to have a checkup. Let's read on to see what else they had to do. The government didn't want sick people coming into the country. As a result, some sick people stayed in the Ellis Island Hospital until they were well. Someone with an eye infection was sent back across the ocean. People also had to take a written test. That's the second thing that they had to do. So first they had to have a medical check and then they had to take a written test. So we're going to number this with a two to show that that was the second thing that they had to do. Let's keep reading. Then they had to answer questions, give their names, and tell what country they were from. So here's the third thing. They're giving all this information about themselves. So I'm numbering that with a three. They had to tell where they planned to go. So here's the next thing that they had to do. So let's number this with a four. They had to promise to obey the laws of the United States. So that's a fifth thing that they had to do. Let's keep reading because we have to read through paragraphs two through four. So we're not done yet. After hours of waiting, most people got good news. The United States welcomed them to their new home. So there's nothing really for us to number in this paragraph. It, this paragraph's mostly about the United States welcoming them to their new home. So we're just going to leave this the way it is. Uh, let's go back and recap all the things that we found. One was they had to have checkups. Two, they had to take a written test. Three, they had to answer questions about themselves. Four, they had to explain where they're planning to go. And then five, they had to make a promise to obey all the laws. 
Our next question says, reread paragraph four. Talk with a partner about how immigrants felt about being allowed to stay in America. How many got to stay? Underline text that answers the question. Write it here. So the question is, how many got to stay? And then we ha- once we find it, we have to underline it. So let's reread to find out. After hours of waiting, most people got good news. The United States welcomed them to their new home. So it doesn't give us an exact number, but it does say that most people got good news, which tells us that more people than not got to stay in America. So let's underline this part of the sentence that says most people got good news. And then on the line here, we're going to write most people got to stay in America. Go ahead and write that on the line. Now we're ready to move on to our second page. This question says, reread the excerpt. Underline the sentence that helps you understand that most of the immigrants stayed in New York. Write it here. So we're going to start reading, and then when we come across our answer, we'll pause and underline it. From Ellis Island, some immigrants got on ferries to New York City. Many people's journeys ended there. Hey, I think that's our answer. It says many people's journey ended there meaning that they stayed in New York City. So let's underline this sentence. Let's keep reading. Thousands settled near friends and family. They stayed in neighborhoods such as Little Italy and the Lower East Side. Others had more traveling to do. So again, it's confirming that many people stayed in New York with friends and family And then it goes on to say that others had more traveling to do. So while many stayed in New York, others continued to travel. It says, they headed west or south to other cities and states. Some went to places where they could get a job in a factory or a mine. Others found good farmland. No matter where the immigrants settled, They never forgot Ellis Island. So let's stick with our answer here where it says many people's journey ended there. And let's put that text evidence on the line. The text says, and let's use quotation marks because we're citing this information from the text and we're using the exact words from the story. So quotation mark, and then we're going to write Many people's journeys ended there. And then a quotation mark to end it. I'm using these quotation marks to show that uh, this sentence is directly from the text. I didn't write those words. Those are the words of the author. So quotation marks to surround the words of the author. Go ahead and write this in just like I have it. The next question says, circle the places where they settled. So as I was reading this, I remember them mentioning a bunch of places that they settled. So let's go through and circle them. So obviously the first place that they settled was New York City. Go ahead and circle that. And then it talked about neighborhoods like Little Italy and the Lower East Side. So circle those two neighborhood names. Then it also says that some headed west or south. So circle that. And then finally, it just says that some went to other cities and states. It doesn't name exactly what those cities and states were uh, because There's so many cities and states they could have chosen from, um, so it just says other cities and states. So make sure you're circling that as well. 
Lastly, it says, talk with a partner about why Ellis Island was a memorable place for immigrants. Draw a box around the text evidence that supports your discussion. So right away when I hear this question, I think of this last sentence in this section where it says, no matter where the immigrants settled, they never forgot Ellis Island. So even though they went all these different places, the thing that they all had in common were that they never forgot their experience at Ellis Island. So I'm going to go ahead and box in this entire last sentence to support my evidence. Go ahead and box that in too. All right, boys and girls, it was a lot of fun digging deeper into our paired selection, Next Stop America. I've really enjoyed reading all these texts about how immigrants came to the United States. One of the things that I learned from all these texts was that immigrating can be very difficult, but in the end, it's all worth it. I hope you have enjoyed these texts as well. Thanks for watching and bye for now.